Hello guys, welcome po sa aking channel. Muli po ay gagawa po tayo ng video reaction patungkol sa photos ng ating mahal na Pangulong Duterte na nagbigay siya ng ultimatum sa lahat ng ahensya ng gobyerno upang sa ganun ay mapauwi ang mga OFW na matagal na stranded sa Metro Manila. Dahil dito ay mabilisang aksyon ang ginawa ng mga inaatasan ng uh, ahensya ng gobyerno mula sa UA, uh, mula sa DOH, uh, mula sa mga lokal uh, lokal na pamahalaan upang sa ganun ay mapauwi ngayong linggo ang uh, binigay na utos ng ating mahal na Pangulo. So, guys, uh, buhayan po natin ang uh, video ito, ang uh, binigay na ultimatum na ating mahal na Pangulo para sa mga kababayan nating OFW. Sa mga hindi pa nakasubscribe sa aking channel, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell upang kayo ay manotify sa susunod kong mga video. I remember distinctly very well. Dito na naman tayo sa ano. This is a more serious problem coming up. Is the issue of the OFWs uh, uh, coming in. Uh, sa pagka ngayon, meron tayong 24,000 stranded in Manila. And they are stranded in the sense that they are not allowed or they cannot go home because the local governments uh, are not accepting them. Are not accepting them. So, merong nga pronouncement na ang policy na they will not accept returning OFWs. Ang masama nito, kasi pag anon ang behavior natin Secretary Bellio says that there are about 302 coming uh, in in a short while and 62,000 302 and 62,000 are expected to arrive as soon as our airports are open uh, no, in the not really confusion but in the uh, in the, the desire to protect uh, their respective turf territories ganun man I, I, I can say that uh, if that is the way they would handle it like a, a somebody who's really a chieftain of, of a city or a province during a, a, a Uh, pandemic uh, time uh, okay yan pero alam mo hindi naman lahat talaga nagkasakit and it is very uh, cruel actually to deny them to go home. nandito yan sila sa hotel because they are not or they cannot go home First, because of lack of money and uh, resources. So I have instructed, was it last night, uh, through, through Secretary Roque, that I am ordering the use of all government assets, whether it's really uh, the air or the sea, or the transportation owned by government that they should be utilized in uh, uh, accepting and 
probably delivering them to their, if possible, delivering them to their homes, to their families. Na itong coming na 302 is an it's, it's, a, it's a big worry. Now, yun 62 na dadating shortly. Pag hindi ninyo tinanggap yan, makagulo tayo ang Pilipinas. Now, let me be very clear. Let me talk about legality para wala tayong uh, wala tayong sakit ng loob. Nobody but nobody can really stifle the right of uh, whether he is traveling, and working outside and coming in, going home. Nagkaroon lang itong temporary uh, uh, an aberration in the movement of people because of the COVID. Ito ang sasabihin ko sa lahat. I said nobody but nobody. And only the national government can impose restrictions on travel because it is the only agency who can declare that there is an emergency of national interest. The issue is national interest. And uh, that, 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 that power to, to, of declaration is not shared by anybody. It's the national government. Ngayon, uh, may mga siyudad na ayaw nilang tanggapin. You know, I'm ordering you to accept them. Open the gates of your territories and allow the people and allow the Filipino to travel wherever they want. Yung, ano, yung uh, sequestration ng tao o lockdown should dovetail the national policy. Or better still, as not to confuse the people, you are not allowed to unal, unal, un, unilaterally declare na ganito, you are closing uh, the entry, the, the egress and uh, ingress ng tao. Mahirap yan. Magkagulo tayo, kanya-kanya kayong. So, if you want uh, a measure to be implemented in your local government unit, ask permission from the task force because alam mo, it involves many issues. One, in the name of humanity. Two, is the constitutional right. And ito yung pinakamabigat. It is the constitutional right of people to go home, to travel and go home. Do not impede it. Do not obstruct the the movement of people because you run the risk of getting sued criminally. Yung ang agency, because uh, it is the national government who declared there is a national emergency involving uh, a pandemic, an issue of health, uh, that, 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 that power cannot be shared by, by anybody else. If you want, as an adjunct of government, uh, maghingi ka ng permiso sa task force. They are the better position really to assess. Kawawa itong 24, so uh, I'm ordering sali na yung pera sa kung may naiwan pa sa 200 million Gastos yun rin ninyo yun para sa pag-uwi ng tao. Because the reason why they are here is connected with the issue of COVID. Nagsiuwian ito, dinipot, kasi nga may pandemic involving the entire planet Earth. 
So the reason why they are uh, deported or forced to go home is because of, uh, well, maybe so as not to have a contagion involving a lot of uh, in numbers. So to contain it, ito yung mga tangang ating mga kabuhayan pinapauwi. Tanggapin natin sila. Sir, yung pong order ninyo na 24,000 OFWs, lahat po yan ay uh, na-test natin using PCR at lahat po yan ay negative. Kung sakali lang po na may makakalusot na nawala yung kanyang result at uh, siya ay dumating sa LGU ng walang papeles, ang advice po natin sa LGU, tanggapin ninyo at ilagay ninyo sa quarantine hanggang dumating yung kanyang result. Sapagat yung pong 24,000 po yan ay tested negative po sa PCR. Yeah. Okay. With, with doubly, more, more, more reason really po for uh, not uh, refusing to, to accept them. Kawawa naman. Alam mo, you know, ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening, to the Filipino, to the kababayan natin, tanggapin ninyo and provide for uh, sequestration houses uh, if you want. Yung doon sila i-quarantine. Uh, pero hati-hati tayo sa problema. Total, hindi naman kami nagkulang. Whatever you need, we provide. It's just a matter of time. We, you cannot service the entire 110 million Filipinos at once. That's why I think, I think it's ignorance only on the part of the LGUs. They don't understand. You know? So I think tama ho yung sinabi nyo, we should lecture to them. We should have seminars. I'm willing to give it even via Zoom. Diba? We're doing this anyway for LGUs. We can do it for them. We have to educate them. Mr. President, 4,000 will be home to their own provinces by Thursday. It behooves upon the DILG to really see to it that everybody is delivered and returned to their homes, sa pamilya nila. Noong panahon ng good time, we were experiencing the benefits of the dollar. It formed a big part of our GDP. GDP is simply income. Ang ibig sabihin ng GDP is income. Noong income na nandang sa bansa natin, malaki because nandito ito mga OFW. Tapos ngayon, hindi natin tanggapin. What's the... That, that's final. Uh, mga mahal kong kababayan, ang gobyerno uh, may proseso na pag-modified uh, quarantine. May mga lugar, pati may mga tao na exempted na sila. So they can work. Kaya naman construction, malayo, malayo naman sila, hindi man dikit-dikit yan. Pero dahan-dahan yan. Pero ito lang ang pakiusap ko. As I said before, kayong maglabasan na, maski na hindi nga kayo pinapayagan, lumalabas na kayo. Eh. Hindi ko naman kayo madampot pati yung mga bata ninyo kung isali ninyo. But ito ilakay ninyo sa ulo talaga ninyo ha? sa conscious mind ninyo palagi. Ang COVID ho, nandito pa. And yung pagpalabas ng mga tao, hindi, hindi ibig sabihin na tapos na ang COVID. Nandito pa rin. So, kung gusto mong lumabas ngayon, sa ngayon, wala pang medisina, walang baktin. At your own risk yan. Maglabas ka, sabihin mo, wala mang mangyari, magandang antibody ko, gano'n, okay. Pero pagdating sa panahon at nagdelirium ka na at ginamit na yung ventilator, yung ventilator is the last chapter sa ospital. May, may ikaw, may lagnat ka, may 
Tapos may oxygen. Pero pag ginamit na yan, ventilator na yan, ibig sabihin yan, yun na yung maskara mo papuntang uh, langit o oh, saan. Bantay kayo dyan. Do not be reckless. That's the word. Huwag kayong masyadong pabaya na oh, oh. basta sinabi ko sa inyo, alkohol, hugas kamay, mas Ma magnabas kayo, take all precautions para walang sisiyan. Gamit ka ng mask, gamit ka, pag tinamaan ka pa rin, panahon mo na. At saka, if you're not allowed to go out, especially yung bata, tagalang, pero malapit na. Uh, I think, uh, uh, by the grace of God, we will have the vaccine uh, by, uh, before the end of the year. So, mag-asa na lang tayo sa mga marunong at saka mayaman na mga bayan. They are feverishly, 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 working on it. Uh, pag nandiyan na yan, ako na ang magsabi, labas na. Pag hindi ka lumabas, hilain kita sa labas, dito ka. Sige, pasyal lang ito. Eh, may bakuna na yan. Bakuna mo na dahil na bahala na. But uh, without the vaccine, uh, it's really danger. It spells uh, disaster. So, your mask, hugas kamay. Mga bata, huwag muna. Yung, yung opening ng klase, that, that's a very... The, I will not allow the opening of classes na dikit-dikit yung mga bata. Mahala na hindi na makatapos. For this generation, wala na makatapos na doktor, pati engineer. Wala. Kasi hindi, hindi na wala nang aral. Laro na lang. Unless I am sure that they are really safe. Uh, it's useless to be talking about opening of classes. That's what I'm saying. Para sa akin, bakuna muna. Pag nandiyan ng bakuna, okay na. So, remember that. Pati yung mga mayors, uh, governors, kindly remember that they are Filipinos and that there's only one body, uh, the government through the task force who can make pronouncements about lockdowns, about uh, quarantine, or sequestration of uh, whatever. Mahirap yan. Uh, isa lang ang government. The national government uh, makes the pronouncement. You just follow. And uh, itong sabi nga ni General Anyo, eh, ito, tinamaan rin ito ng COVID si, si General. Sabi niya, in 24, on his out of being public officer. You're the, you, when, you, when you talk about uh, official matters uh, in an official discussion, your word is always under oath. So, sabi ni John Anyo, safe yan. Pag magkamali, mag may reinfection then uh, we will act accordingly. But, uh, Anyway, he's the one who would, uh, uh, he has been here in the world. That's it. Marami, salamat. Yan po guys, napanood na po natin ang direktang utos ng ating Pangulo upang sa ganun ay mabilis, mapauwi. Sa linggong ito, ang mga OFW na stranded na matagal nang stranded sa Metro Manila at saka overdue na sa quarantine na facilities. So maraming salamat sa iyo, uh, Pangulong Duterte, sa pagtulong mo sa ating mga kababayang OFW at sa mga mamamayang Pilipino. Uh, sa mga hindi pa nakasubscribe sa aking channel, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell upang kayo ay man-notify sa susunod kong mga video. Maraming salamat and God bless. Bye-bye!